For the record, resub because I got to drop this link, man. Mental illness and gun violence. The way we talk about gun violence and the laws of support should be used based on facts, not falsehoods. Bro, what are you talking about? Are you going to tell me that in this day and age, right now, you're going to unironically come in here and talk to me about how mental illness does not play a significant role in gun deaths? Gun violence and gun deaths are not removed from one another, okay? Are you stupid? What's the largest percentage of gun casualties in this country? Do you think it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, murders happening in Chicago? Do you think it's mass shootings happening at schools? Or do you think it's suicide by a firearm? What do you think that comes from? What would you classify suicidal ideation under? The majority of gun deaths in this country, the majority of gun deaths in this country, out of the nearly 40,000 gun deaths that you experience, that we experience here in this goddamn country every year, the majority of those gun deaths come from suicide, okay? L take right now, Hassan. What the f are you talking about? That's not an L take, you f idiot. That's just facts. Shut the f up. The majority of f gun deaths, not gun violence, okay, but gun deaths are suicide by gun. Every single one of those people are mentally ill. They're suicidal. Where is your, what kind of f brain worms do you have to, to try to make this argument? Nah, bro, like, you don't understand. I get it. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to destigmatize mental illness. But this is a psychotic moment to bring that sh up. I'm not saying if you're mentally ill, you're going to be violent to others. You know that already. That's not what I'm talking about. Shut the f up. Come on, bro. Come on. I mean, that's just f facts, dude. 54%, 54% of gun deaths every year are suicide. This is not about destigmatizing or stigmatizing people who are mentally ill, okay? But it is not married. Uh, I mean, it is not, you know, removed from this argument. You have to talk about red, especially when we're talking about red flag laws. It's like a square and rectangle logic. All mass shooters have a mental health issue, but only a small minority of people with mental health problems are violent or criminal. Sorry that Chet can't do nuance. No, 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 no. That's not even true. I don't think all mental, all mass shooters have a mental health issue. A lot of them do. But a lot of them are also guided by ideology. There is definitely white supremacy. And, and, uh, and, and you cannot be declared criminally insane, as a matter of fact, in a lot of those mass shooting incidents, that you are completely aware of what the f*** is going on. There's also, there's also you know, undiagnosed mental illness there, too, certainly. But when I, talk about, when I talk about flag laws, the reason why I bring up mental illness is because I'm also talking about avoiding suicide. Which, once again, as we've mentioned time and time again on this broadcast, is when you constitute a danger to yourself. Not others, but definitely to yourself. And then people always say, well, Hassan, you believe in voluntary active euthanasia, which I've talked about before. And if you consider being able to purchase a firearm and shoot yourself with it to be in the same vein as like going to a medical professional and getting this done as a medical process, you are out of your mind and probably shouldn't have a gun we're talking about ending chronic pain okay not like depressive episodes that you can and should try to medicate a chemical imbalance that you can deal with with medication holy uh, the chemical imbalance theory is controversial well in some instances it is though uh, what do you mean how, how can you medicate against it then isn't the chemical imbalance of a myth okay well you still, what, what do you mean? Medication works. So what? Therapy and medication works. It can be caused by trauma, but also how the f medication work if there's no, if there's no f chemical basis. That's not fair. It's the same thing. Not everyone has access to assisted suicide. I am going to assist your banning from this f chat for having such an idiotic take, dude. Leftists literally are so f brain dead that they don't even recognize the top of the hour came and passed and it's eight minutes in and I have to f on the top of the hour ad break right now. That motherfucker is not going to be able to subscribe to avoid the ad break, okay? He's going to have to see it, but you can subscribe for $5 or for free and avoid the top of the hour ad break. That is an 11 out of 10 segue. Suck my head burglar. Thank you for the five. Get the subs allowing five people, not that guy who just got banned, to avoid the hour, uh, top, top of the hour ad break, though. Oh, the press motherfuckers in chat advocating for suicide while dressing it as ideology. F insane. Yes. Here's the woman ad break now, by the way. Bill Vogg. And the Pope of Clown Town. Thank you for the five get the subs, allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads. This is one of those times where I hate being a leftist. Every f day of my life, I hate being a leftist. Because other leftists are so f cringe and so f 
annoying. I don't know why we're acting like this isn't something we need to talk about repeatedly, especially considering the stigmatization the way we talk about mental illness and gun violence ultimately makes it so that people don't want to get help because they don't want to get the, get the stigmatization label. And when every other person with a bad political take is called a schizo poster in this chat, I can see why law. Well, they also call everyone to, uh, you know, suck my too. You know, I say a lot of things. It's wild to me, though, that someone unironically had the audacity to f say, well, you know, this is a classist issue. You're being classist because I want to be able to f myself and I can't. Even if there's voluntary active euthanasia that's like legally available to me, I might not be able to go to the doc doctor and get that process. So I should be able to f myself with a gun. Dude, you're a psycho. You're a psycho. Queen Boxy, thank you for the four gifted subs. Suicide rate is a reflection of living conditions. At least they can tap out of their weight, slavery, and poverty with a handgun. You don't think that's merciful when you've seen the absolute despair so many people live in? No, I don't. And you're a f little sh stained freak for saying that. Shut the f up. You don't understand. How is that? How is what you just said any different than the f black pilled incels, dude? You dumb. F how? You're, you're unironically begging chatters to neck themselves in the identical capacity. But in a leftist fashion, most people in this chat should not have a gun. Straight up, I'll say it. I, I think it's because like people want to pop off and be like, I'm the most leftist. I, I'm, I'm pro-suicide by gun. I'm pro-gun and I'm pro-suicide by gun because of how leftist I am. You're insane. You're an insane person. I really hope you don't have a gun. I can actually explain this to you, but you aren't going to listen Law, I'm disabled and I think access to guns is more humane than legal euthanasia because when you have euthanasia, they only offer you that and refuse to help while you're alive. What? Bro, I don't understand. How can chatters come in here and be like, yo, you've helped me through so many of my darkest moments, okay? You've helped me through so many of my darkest moments. This community has been incredible for me when I felt really down, when I felt suicidal. Uh, this is a place where I found safe harbor. And then there's hella chatters in here who are like, no, you should be able to kill yourself in your dark moment instead of trying to overcome that and, and, and get better, you know? It's crazy. You guys are literally the same black pill doomer ridden incels dude what the f you're just your ideology has shifted a little bit to the left but you're still that f moral that that not moral decay but like that, that f internet uh a brain poison uh, brain rot has has seeped in to your f very core you unironically need to touch grass some of the people arguing with you are mentally ill please just ignore them instead of confronting them over it yeah this is why every time we talk about disability and disability activism the chat falls apart anytime i f talk about like showering you hear chirping from the f disability activists immediately like oh well i can't take a shower f you you're being able yeah i am i'm f able to take a shower and don't f commit suicide is a deeply selfish piece of thing to f do okay everyone around you will f despise you if you do that just letting you know dumbass and clean your bed clean your room and, and make your bed that's a disgusting thing to say really is it i don't think it's a selfish thing bad take yeah no suck my dude suicide is one of the most selfish piece of things you can do okay straight up yeah telling that to a suicidal person will definitely change their mind law worst take you've ever had lamafeo i don't care dude hate me all you want dude okay hate me all you want a lot of you little emo okay love mythologizing and romanticizing suicide and it comes across in the chat in moments like this so, so much. You're doing that. You're literally romanticizing it, okay? Oh, I'm a supporter of suicide, but from a leftist way. Dumb dude. Holy sh Not a bad take. Neither is a chemical imbalance. Shaking my head. Don't become obsessed with your mental illness. It isn't your whole life chatters. I just, I hate, I hate having the mental illness talk with Twitch chat, which is like overwhelmingly mentally ill and there are plenty of incredible people who are dealing with it every goddamn day and then there are people who are like no i wear it on my sleeve dude instead of dealing with it i wear it on my sleeve and it's my right i'm gonna cry about it in here and i'm gonna straight up do absolutely everything i can to, to tell other people that are at risk that have been able to overcome certain aspects of said mental illness that haunts them every goddamn day to go back to their prior ways of by romanticizing things like suicide keep crying it's wild to me dude you can thank tumblr for the existence of this type of culture dude it's the internet i'm not a professional therapist okay god damn idiot wastebasket i found my take on suicide as someone whose brother suicide ruined their lives it wasn't a bad take at all it was very selfish i agree viewing into selfish and fearing what family will think of me helps me keep going still want to die sometimes though lol Always think about your friends and family. You will ruin their lives if you do such a selfish thing. I know it feels like your pain that you're experiencing 
is the worst thing and it's never ending and it's never going to change, but it will. Okay. And I value the bravery, the courage of all of those people who've been able to overcome such dire circumstances. Okay. That's why I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, it's super cool and super romantic that you want to, you, you want to end the pain. No, you shouldn't. Okay. How the f are we having this conversation? It's wild. I'm the f reaching when they're saying Hasanabi's worst take is please do not kill yourself. Yeah, literally. Listen, man, as someone who's had multiple attempts and gotten past them, you're just not going to get through the chat on this take. They can't understand when they're in it. You're right, though. Yeah, well, listen, ultimately, if you are in it, though, things will get better. You will one day, and there are thousands of examples even in this f chat. One day you'll look back at that and go, damn, that was really f dark and it felt really real and it felt really f sad and really scary. But ultimately, I'm better. I'm better now. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, chat. But it's f gross. You're being selfish when you unironically are in that pain. If you're going through it also, try not to drag others down with you. It makes it way worse. Exactly. Be a little bit more f responsible. Be a little bit more responsible with what the f you're doing. You're a leftist, right? You're supposedly uh, guided by empathy. There's plenty of people who are on the f verge of having a depressive breakdown or feeling the same way that you do, and they're struggling every goddamn day with not killing themselves, and then you come into the f chat and you like make it seem like it's a final solution. It's a great solution to, the, to this problem. You f dumb b What's wrong with you? Stop. It is selfish. It's incredibly selfish. And you should remember that always, especially in your worst moments. You should remember how selfish that is, especially if he stops you dead in your tracks, okay? I personally think it's an effective way to, to talk about the subject. Anyway, we're going to take it out of emote mode. I'm chirping, dumbasses. I can speak from personal experience. It gets so much better. Suicidal for eight years. It gets so much better. Struggle with mental health. Most of my adult life, after about 10 years in and out of therapist's office, I found one that worked for me. The impact on my mental health was so positive that I decided to change my whole life. At 38, I started college again, studying psychology. I want to help others find the peace I did. It's still a struggle, but it's one that I can feel like and win. I was in an incredibly dark place, attempt to take my life, but I'm so glad I failed that. Life gets better eventually. I'm still working on it, though. Also, you're a big part of helping me through life. I don't think suicide takes the pain away. It just literally shifts the burden onto those around you, the closest people around you who tried to help you the entire, the entire time. That's it. It just shifts it onto them. And, and for that, it is deeply irresponsible and incredibly selfish. Sorry if that hurts your feelings. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>